make these fresh fruit toaster pastries for my kiddos for their lunches this week, maybe breakfast, we'll see. A um, little sugary maybe to start the day, but uh, they'll at least go in their lunches. The filling that I'm going to use in the toaster pastries is actually some homemade peach jam that I made um, rather than using fruit and making a jam. I got to use what I already have, so I've got peach jam and we're going to go ahead and use that. You might hear in the background some baby Einstein playing. Jack is playing in the living room while I work on some stuff here in the kitchen. I'm just going to let the pie dough come to temperature. It was frozen um, and it needs to thaw a little bit. We still want it nice and cool to be able to work with well, uh, but don't want it frozen, can't really work with it. So we're gonna give it about 10 minutes or so to just kind of thaw out and then we'll go ahead and get started on these toaster pastries. change of plans so we are Jack <laughs> Jack and I are actually gonna go over to my mother-in-law's house for this afternoon um, I had all these great hopes of doing some baking but my pie dough is taking longer than I had anticipated to open it up or to unthaw and I'm just feeling like it's time to get out of the house for a little bit so that's what I'm gonna do so this is a box from an app called flash food and what they do is they partner with grocery stores and grocery stores discount um, fresh produce meats breads all kinds of things um, at a discount from 30% on up I've seen like 90% and they often will do a veggie box or a fruit box for five dollars and I love when I can snag one of these boxes so this box was five dollars there are four peppers in here red onions potatoes there's ginger lots of ginger actually um, lots of little potatoes and then there also came in it four ears of corn all of these green onions and lettuce and all of this was for five dollars so flash food isn't available everywhere but i will leave the details in my description box as well as a discount code um, if you sign up using my referral link you get money off and so do i it is one of the best things uh, if it's available in your area it's how i get a lot of groceries at a really discounted rate and their fruit and veggie boxes are wonderful so it is the next day um, and I'm here in my kitchen again. I went out for the evening yesterday. I never got to make those toaster pastries. So I'm gonna attempt to do those today. Aubrey and Colt are home from school. Aubrey's hanging out with Jack right now. And I'm here in the kitchen. I'm hoping to get some things ready for dinner and um, school lunches for the week. So I like to try and prep ahead. Um, today is Monday. 
and I didn't really go into the week with anything prepped because I was gone yesterday so I am going to try and get some things done here while Jack is calm and happy and I've got a little bit of time to work on stuff so we are going to have that corn tonight for supper from our flash food box I have a steak that I was going to make for myself yesterday because the kids were with their dad um, so I was going to treat myself to a steak but I went over to visit with them and have dinner with them actually so um, I'm gonna cook up that steak and I don't know if I'm gonna share it we'll see <laughs> Um, but we'll definitely have the corn and kind of figure out things as I go along. So, here we go.
Okay, so the next thing on my list is to get yogurt cups together for the kids' lunches. So I also got um, some yogurt, 30% off from Flash Food. Um, I got strawberry and I got just plain vanilla. Um, it was cheaper to actually go this route than to buy individual cups and I have these really great containers that I got from Tupperware years ago. Um, I've got lots of them. <laughs> um, and so I am going to just fill up some of those containers for the kids, put them in the fridge so that when it comes to packing lunches this week, it is just grab and go. So that's our next task on the list. and I actually peeled some oranges that I had in the fridge for the kids lunches um, I ran out of sandwich bags or snack bags um, and so I'm using the last of the reusable containers that I have these are a little kid like but they'll be fine um, so we've got oranges for the next two days and then I also peeled a grapefruit Jack loved grapefruit. I had some in the fridge from a flash food box and I peeled them one week and he just absolutely loved them. So I went ahead and peeled another grapefruit because I have two in my fridge um, and then he'll have these for lunches. I mean anyone can have them um, but he will have them for lunches, breakfasts and stuff like that. Um, and then I had colt cum and shock the corn. So we will probably start dinner here in about half an hour. The potatoes are in the oven and we're just making a little headway here. I've been collecting all of the peels and garbage and stuff from today's prepping session. Um, and I would compost this, but I haven't really been composting lately and I don't have compost garbage bags. Um, we have a compost collecting situation here <laughs> in our city um, where they will collect but you have to have it put in special compost garbage bags and I don't have any of those so I'm just probably going to end up dumping this in the garbage but I love having some sort of like a garbage bowl uh, to put all of this like loose stuff in and I just happened to have the strainer out doing the potatoes and vegetables earlier so I just dumped it all in there easy peasy lemon squeezy. So this is what everything looks like in the fridge. Um, I got these two uh, stacking containers at Target when we went to visit my family a couple months ago. And um, yeah, so I just put all of their lunch stuff in there and then it's corralled with all those tiny little containers. Everything would be falling all over the fridge if uh, I didn't have a place to corral them. So it works really well. 